Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to create a Zoom background using Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Want a different virtual background from the generic ones that come with Zoom? Here's a really simple Doodly technique that you can create in a matter of minutes. First, we're going to need to decide what we want in the background and how complicated it should be. I recommend keeping it simple. Right now, I've got a lot going on in this particular demonstration background, and I think we need to simplify it a bit. We also need to determine how long it should be because, you know, your Zoom meetings, they can go on for hours. So you really don't want to make a hour long doodly video, I'm sure. So I think simplicity is key here. And one of the ways that we can simplify it is by turning the hand off. So let's do that first thing. So let's go to settings and you go over to your hand style and just scroll down to no hand. That way you're not going to have this hand scrolling in the background. The items are just going to appear. Now this woman here, this is just a placeholder. This represents you, okay? So that just gives you an idea of where you're going to cover the screen and what you have to work with. So here's our free real estate over on the sides here. So when the time comes to export the video, you will go ahead and delete your placeholder, okay? But for now, we're going to keep it here so that we can build a scene. So let's recreate this using some of these concepts that I've discussed. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the scene. And we're going to start from scratch. So let's go ahead and get a placeholder. So I think that was Mercy. And I used this one. We can use a different one. Let's drag it in. So now what is our concept? Let's make this a business meeting. In this example, we're going to be more business-like, so let's go ahead and get a logo in here. So go over to props, and I have this real estate agent logo, Jane Martin Acme Real Estate, that we've been using in some of our previous videos. So we could put that off to the side here. And then maybe we should put a couple of just kind of fun real estate type items in the background. So let's type for real estate. And that looks nice. And I think really that's pretty much all we need. I want to keep it simple. Oh, maybe we should add a sunshine and some clouds. Who knows? Let's see. Now remember, the hand will not be drawing these things on. I'm going to go ahead and click the pencil icon. And I want to set this so it fades on. So that'll just come on and look real nice and I would like it to be a slow fade because we want it to be, again, fairly subtle coming on. And then our little house. Again, this can be fairly slow. Let me say five seconds. And then our sun. Let's say four seconds. Then we want to think about the order. I think the sun should come first, then the house, and then the logo. You can put some delays in between them if you'd like. And then you're going to want a very long delay at the end of the scene. Because remember, you're going to be on the Zoom call for hours, right? So you want your, once you have your scene drawn, you want it to stay on for a long time. At the same time, you don't want to make an hour long video and upload it to Zoom. You, you want maybe like a minute or two minutes max. So let's just say 60 seconds. And then Zoom will just repeat it over and over for 60 seconds. Every 60 seconds, it'll redraw it. And that should be fine. So let's take a quick look and we'll keep in mind that we're going to delete our little placeholder character before we export it. 
So here comes the sun, and people are like, oh, that's kind of interesting. And then we've got a delay, and then we've got a little real estate symbol coming on. That's kind of fun because you're a realtor. And then we have another delay, and then eventually your logo appears. And then once it's all on there, it's just going to stay on there for 60 seconds, and then it will repeat. And I think for our Zoom meetings, that should be fine. That's plenty. So let's go ahead and delete our placeholder character. And we'll export the video and then bring it into Zoom, and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and export it. OK, so now I'm in Zoom, and I have a virtual background. This is one of the stock ones that comes with it. This is the Golden Gate Bridge. Well, now I want the doodly one that I just made. So how do I do that? Well, if you go into your little video settings down here and you go to choose virtual background, you have this menu that comes up. So here's the one that I had chosen earlier. Well, now I want to add my doodly one. So I click this little plus button, add video. And this is the one right here that I just created. So that's the one I'd like to add. And here it is. So now I'm in Zoom. I'm being my professional real estate agent persona. <laughs> and these little items are just drawing on all by themselves. And that's how it goes. And then my little logo is going to come on. And then this will stay on for 60 seconds before it wipes away and then redraws. And it's fine. And you know, it's not perfect. These virtual backgrounds, you know, unless you have a green screen behind you and good lighting, they're not perfect. You know, like you move your hand and you know, things start to appear, but it's still kind of fun as a different way of having a virtual background that is just kind of fun. And that's the basics, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.